Johan, uh, uh, certainly not, of course, the, uh, the result you wanted, but uh, a very incredibly entertaining, competitive, fun fight tonight. How, how did you feel? Obviously, you know, not getting the win, but, but how did you feel about your performance this evening? Uh, Oh, uh, I feel great, and uh, mm, I, I'm very proud of myself, so I'm totally fine, I'm in good mood, uh, not like last time at the garden when I met you guys, and when I heard the, 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 the when I heard Bruce, Buff uh, Bruce Buffer saying the numbers, uh, how the judges scored the card, I was like, okay, I expected that I, I, I was going to win by decision, but when I heard when I heard the difference, I was like, okay, we've got the win easy, even same my coaches. So it, it was really big surprise and, and the numbers don't lie. 142 to 84 uh, and landed 132 strikes from me, 83 from Rose. That's the answer. That's the answer. Did you, I mean, were you guys scoring the rounds as you went along? I mean, do you do that in the corner? Do you think, do you know what rounds you thought you won? Because I yeah, mean, yeah, we thought like the, the second round was like super like close, but man, like more kicks from me and I felt great. You could see me like uh, she got out from the third round and I was more than ready to go with every round. I could fight 10 more rounds and at the, uh, at the end, every break, I was like on my feet, ready to go. And uh, that's the thing. If I felt, if I, if I, if I knew that they were like scoring the cards like this, I didn't leave the uh, I didn't leave the fight in judges' hands, uh, but I felt like I could do more even, you know. But I felt I was winning the fight. I felt like I was winning the fight, and I, I hear I'm not complaining like that I lost or not. I really uh, I'm a really different fighter. I have done so much for myself and for this sport. I feel great. You know, the last thing for me, I mean, you, you're focused on positivity and the changes and all those good things, but where do you go from here? I mean, we've seen throughout history, it's tough sometimes for, you know, a challenger to be 0-2 against a champion to get that third fight. I mean, do you feel like the fight tonight deserves a, a third fight somewhere down the line, or do, you, or do you have to focus on other goals for now? Of course. Right now, I, I spend like long 10 weeks in Coconut Creek training uh, with my coaches, Mikey Brown, Cattle Kubis, Phil Daru, Daya Strong, uh, uh, Phil Daru, uh, Odaya Davis, Kelson, and other people from ATT. Far away from my family right now, I want to just go on vacation on Tuesday and go back to Poland on Sunday next week. I ah, just enjoy my time, that's it. And I will, I will see, but I feel like, man, the, the, this fight was so close, you know, and like I said, people were asking why I've, why I've got the rematch and if I, gonna, if I was going to give the rematch if I won the fight, but I was the champ for a reason for a long time. So I think there is not going to, or there is not born yet a female fighter who is going to tie Ronda Rose's record or my record. You wanna, um, is this tougher for you to take than the first loss where you get knocked out and you know you're clearly on this one when you feel like you win? Is it a tougher loss to accept? Actually, it's easier, man. I was so successful in my fighting career and I'm proud of myself. That's it, you know. I see, I see losing totally different way, you know. And like I said, my first fight with Rose, the weight cut really impacted my, my, my performance. 14 hours of weight cut, of dying, dying. So you could imagine how my body felt in the first fight. So, but I gave every, everything I had this time. And then I just was wondering, your kicks uh, were very effective and you had a lot of welts on her leg. Did you feel like that, you know, wasn't maybe taken into account enough because, you know, she, you, know you were doing damage to her lead leg with your kicks? Uh, say again, the, the, the first part of the, of the question. Just saying, did you feel like maybe they didn't score the kicks well enough because it seems like you did a lot of damage to her lead leg and did you feel like maybe that was something that was overlooked? Let's see how she's going to walk tomorrow. Quick question over here. Um, you already answered the weight cut question, so I'll skip that, but is 125 still possibility for the future? Or do you want to come back and try and uh, we fight will Rose see. again? When I've been competing in Muay Thai and MMA before I, I joined the UFC, I was competing in 125 and it was easy. But I put on great work with my diet, uh, 
uh, this camp for for first five weeks I dropped my weight to 128 so uh, I was uh, pretty light the whole camp after that I started working with George Lockhart uh, but I used my knowledge as well but we put on great work so we'll, we'll see I feel great in 115 division but you know we will see. We will see well, where I will go after after the vacation. I will sit and talk to Dana, to the matchmakers. A question for you, Anna. She said afterwards that she felt heavy, that she wasn't technical. She didn't seem happy with her performance. What did you make of her compared to the first time? I know it's a much longer fight, but what did you think of her performance? She she feel like it was good or not? It, it didn't, she seemed critical of herself. She said she felt heavy, heavy. and not very technical she said oh i don't know i don't know you know the first round always is like about reading each other you know so i don't know it, 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 it's <laughs> I, i'm not rose i'm young and i know that i put on a hell of the uh, of great performance and great fight tonight do you recall i know it's kind of fresh but do you recall specifically which rounds you thought you won for sure I don't know, I must sit and talk to my coaches again, watch the fight, but uh, the second round I thought was split. We saw the judges' cards, uh, everyone was scoring different a different round for different fighter, but the numbers don't lie. The numbers don't lie and, and the significant strikes telling, are telling the truth, you know? JJ over here. I know you're fresh off the loss, but how, how much longer do you see yourself fighting? You want me to stop fighting? No. <laughs> I said, how much longer do you see yourself fighting? I don't know. We will see. We will see. We will see. And do you think the performance you had tonight would beat anybody else in the division? Hey, come on. You can see the, others, the other female strawweights fighting and compare me to them. Come on. They cannot compare themselves to me. They cannot. Yeah, they all are only jealous and talking too much, you know, all the time. I'm telling to them, bow down, bow down. I'm the queen. Is there anybody particularly that you want to see in your next fight? Say again? Anybody particularly you want to see in your next fight? Anybody Who? particular that you want to see in your next fight? I don't know, the best, the best. Thank you, guys.